Welcome back. So we are still working with Unit 9B, Day 4, our final lesson for equations of circles for this unit. And we talked about in the last video how to find the radius using Pythagorean theorem. I used my shortcut for a hypotenuse to find the radius and how we should leave it as a square root so that way when we put it in the formula, the square and the square root will cancel out. Okay? And then we looked at how do we work with this when we're given the graph as opposed to given the words center and radius. Okay, so here's another one where we've been given the graph. And I'm going to start by doing the same thing I did before, x minus the x from the center plus y minus the y from the center squared equals my radius squared. Okay, so now I'm going to look at my figure and I'm going to say where is this center? It is at 1 and then 1, 2, 3. 1, 3. So the x is 1, the y is 3. And then my radius, again, you can either count horizontally or you can count vertically. It is 1, 2, 3 units long. Simplify double negatives, zeros, and square the radius. There's no double negatives, there's no zeros, so nothing happens to the left side. Oops, I don't know what happened there. Let me redo this. I don't know what happened. X minus 1, close parenthesis squared, plus Y minus 3, close parenthesis squared, equals 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9. There you go. All right, let's look at what happens if instead of having me write the equation, they've given me the equation, and I need to work backwards to figure out what is the center and what is the radius so I can try to graph that circle. Okay, so we know that anytime I have a double negative, I'm going to end up with a plus sign, right? And when I don't have a double negative, I'm going to have a negative, okay? My center here was a positive 1, a positive 3, and in my formula I ended up with minus 1, minus 3, right? Here my center was negative, negative, and in my formula I had positive, positive. So your formula is always going to change the sign to the opposite of what it was because you're always going to do x minus whatever it is and y minus whatever it is. So that's going to change the sign to be opposite of what it was. So when I look here, I know that this is really for my center the opposite of 3 and the opposite of 1. And for my radius, this is the radius squared, and we know to unsquare something, squares and square roots cancel out. So to unsquare this, I have to square root that number. And the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, so my center is negative 3, negative 1. My radius is 3, and it says, let's see if we can graph this, right? My center is at negative 3, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 1. There's my center, and my radius is 3, so 1, 2, 3 to the right, or I could go 1, 2, 3 up, or I could go 1, 2, 3 to the left, or I could go 1, 2, 3 down, and if I just connected those, I'd end up with a little square, right? Of course, I don't want a square. I want a circle, so I'm just going to do my best to draw a circle. That doesn't look too oval-like. By having the four points, the four, the top, the bottom, the right, and the left, it kind of helps aid a little bit in trying to draw a circle. They're never perfect, but they're the best that I can do. Anyways, this is the best one I can do. Maybe you can do better. Challenge yourself. See if you can do better than me. Okay? All right, let's look at the next one. For each circle with a given equation, state the coordinates of the center C and the measure of the radius, then graph the equation. Okay, so I know my center. If, the, if there's no number by them, my center must have been the origin. It must have been 0, 0. And then my radius, what did I square to get 16? The opposite of squaring is square rooting. So my radius must be 4. So my center is at 0, 0. And then I'm going to go in all four directions. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four and one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do my best to try. For some reason, if I make it dotted first, I feel like I make a better circle. I don't know if that's true, but it's what I do. Because then I can kind of look at it and go, eh, it kind of looks like a circle. And then I can connect my dots. And I feel like it helps me a little bit to kind of make. Of course, then when I don't follow my dots, it doesn't help my cause, but relatively circular. Okay. All right. And then the next one, so I can see on this one, I have a minus 2 and a minus 1, but remember, it changes the sign to the opposite of what they are when they go into the formula. So that means this was really a positive 2, and that was really a positive 1. And then I'm going to square root that 9 to see my radius was 3. So 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. Here's my center. And then my radius is 3, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3. And then try and make a circle as best I can doesn't have to be perfect. Here is my beautiful bumpy little circle. Okay, one more. Let's do the last one. All right, so the last one, remember the sign in here is going to change to the opposite. So that was really a negative 2. And since there's nothing there with the y, I know that was a 0. And then I'm going to square root that number on the end to figure out what the radius was. So my radius here again was 4. Okay? All right, so negative 2, 0. I'm going to fall off my graph, and that's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, oops, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. So then I'm going to do my best, and if it doesn't look beautiful like a circle, I'm going to blame it on this point that fell off. It's thrown off my mojo, right? Okay. All right, here we go with our final circle for our notes being drawn. Not too bad if I do say so myself until that last corner. I shouldn't have tooted my horn. I tooted too early. All right, so there you go, equations of circles. If you have any questions, please make sure that you are joining sync time, or if you're live and in person, make sure you're participating and asking questions during class. If you have any questions, please do attend tutoring sync time or in person and ask questions. All right, thank you so much for watching.